Ideal predators, strong, fast, agile, with powerful wings and keen eyesight, smashing claws, and a beak. This is one of the most formidable representatives of birds. They are the real kings of birds, lords of the air. There are over 60 species of eagles. The subfamily of eagles, in addition to the so-called typical eagles, also include sea eagles, which predominantly eat fish, harpy eagles that live in tropical forests, and short-toed snake eagles that hunt for reptiles. Most of them live in Eurasia and Africa. On the other continents, only 14 species live. In Central and South America, nine. In North America, only two. And in Australia, three. The eagle has a strong athletic figure with a tightly laying contour plumage. It gives the impression of a perfect mechanism for a long evolution polished by nature for a successful hunt. The eagle's beak bent down is very massive. Its purpose is not so much to kill the victim as it is to tear it, satisfying the hunger. But the eagle's most dangerous weapon are its claws. Their blow is like a hammer. They squeeze the beating victim like a vice. Their long legs covered with feathers end with large hook claws bent inward. From such claws, if they are closed, it is impossible to break out. They tear apart the flesh and crush the bones of the victims. The eagle has a direct, determined, fearless look. Not one other predator has such keen eyes. The acuity of aquiline vision is amazing. They are always able to capture the vast area and see prey from a height of 10,000 feet. Their vision is six times better than that of a person. Eagles fly and hunt in the daytime. Sunlight and glare on the water do not interfere with the bird. They can easily see the smallest of animals in the grass from a bird's eye view. An eagle can simultaneously track two objects with one eye. Their eyes are protected by two things, a transparent and dense eyelid. The first transparent eyelid protects the eagle's eye from the air currents and claws of stray prey. The second dense eyelid closes the eye during sleep. This bird of prey has an ultralight skeleton. Hollow bones provide the lightness and strength of this design. And finally, the wings. The flight of this predator literally catches the eye. It seems to be floating very slowly in the air. In fact, the bird flies at an amazing speed. A deceptive impression arises because the flight takes place at high altitude, not lower than 2,300 feet. When the eagle spreads its wings, durable fly feathers are visible, forming wide planes for soaring in the streams of warm air and for flapping flight. Eagle wings end as if with spread fingers, thanks to which the bird easily maneuvers and cuts through strong air currents. The bird freely and easily balances in airspace and thus, as it were, floats in the sky, almost without moving its wings. The eagle works with wings only during takeoff or to accelerate during hunting. If in a hurricane the eagle folds its wings slightly and spreads feather-like feathers as wide as possible, this allows the bird to soar smoothly. The tail of the predator acts as a rudder and height, allowing it to perform sharp turns and braking. During the flight, the eagle soars above the ground at a speed of 125 miles per hour. At the sight of a potential prey, the bird can accelerate to 200 miles per hour. An eagle can rise to a height of 23,000 to 30,000 feet, which is not even possible for every aircraft to do. The special arrangement of eagle wings helps them to fly calmly, even during a hurricane. The key to an ideal eagle flight is perfect aerodynamics. So, if they lose a feather from one wing, the same falls out of the second. Some eagles are able to soar in the air for long periods of time, without a single flap of the wings. They do this using upward flows of warm air. Eagles have up to 7,000 feathers, which is only about 5% of their total body weight. Eagles can hunt everywhere, in a dense forest or an open plain, 
in the mountains, or in bodies of water. Here is a golden eagle hovering over its territory. Hovering is a method that allows it to maintain strength during the flight and stay in the air for many hours. The eagle carefully inspects the area in search of prey. The golden eagle, one of the most famous birds of prey, the hawk family, the largest eagle in the world. It weighs up to 11 pounds. Body length is 26 to 40 inches. The wingspan is five to eight feet. Golden eagle, like other eagles, have extremely sharp vision, but only in the daytime. Here came the hare. An eagle notices prey from a distance of 10,000 feet. A special ring muscle quickly focuses the lens of the eye on the running animal without losing sight of it. The movable neck is able to rotate 270 degrees, like an owl, which significantly increases the field of view. The eagle has chosen the target. The hare is trying to escape. The chase has begun. Hovering in the air, the golden eagle moves three times faster than the hare. Having noticed a potential prey, the golden eagle dives after it. While its speed can reach 150 to 200 miles per hour, the golden eagle is the fastest among eagles and the second fastest bird in the world after that of the peregrine falcon flying at a speed of 240 miles per hour. The eagle throws its paws forward. Most often, the golden eagle has one paw that grabs the victim behind the head and the second behind the back, trying to break the spine. Sometimes they strike the neck with their sharp beak, breaking large vessels. Having caught the prey, the eagle tries to eat it right on the spot. After a hearty meal, the eagle absorbs a lot of the liquid and carefully cleans the feathers. In the wild, the need for the golden eagle to eat meat is about 3.5 pounds per day. But if necessary, it can survive without food for up to five weeks. Eagles have a useful property. They can store food in their goiter for several days, so they do not need to fly out and hunt daily. How did a person manage to get a golden eagle to serve their purpose of hunting? Ever since ancient times, eagles have been captured and hunted with them. In Southeast Asia, such a hunt at one time was the privilege of khans and other nobles. In Europe, they also hunted with golden eagles. A good golden eagle has always been a hunter's pride. Birds were caught or taken from nest in sophisticated ways that they were tamed and trained, spending a lot of work and time on it. A free, noble bird became an obedient servant of the man. Launched from the hand at the right time, the eagle immediately catches up with a fox or even a young wolf, and the prey comes right to the man in time, and he gives the eagle a familiar piece of meat and puts a cap over his head to calm it down. Most birds of prey have the habit of looking over their shoulders in case another predator is behind them. Most do, but eagles do not. They are absolutely self-confident and do not even allow the thought that someone would dare attack them. Eagles have a married partner for life and each time return to their home. Eagles nests are the largest of those built by birds. Eagles erect them at the maximum height available in the area. They do this to ensure safety for their young and to have an excellent viewing platform and a place for ambush at the same time, as well as to take off with less effort. Every year they expand and complete their nest. The largest nest ever built by a bird on a tree was made by a bald eagle. It was 20 feet deep, nine and a half feet across, and weighed about three tons. The keen trained eye of a short-toed snake eagle is able to make out not only a snake, but even a small snake from above. The sea snake has no enemies in the water. The real danger comes from the sky. Snakes periodically rise to the surface to breathe, and then an eagle awaits them. With excellent eyesight and sharp claws, they have the perfect hunting technique. The sea snake is their favorite food. With their sharp talons, they dig into their slippery, scaly body, and the eagle soars upward, carrying a dangling snake in its grasp. And here, above the trees, 
the best hunter of these places hovers. The Harpy Eagle, a forest eagle nesting in tropical forests. The female of this species of eagles is one of the largest eagles in the world. Its weight reaches 22 pounds, and its wingspan is seven and a half feet. Harpy eagles prey on mammals that inhabit trees, like monkeys, possums, anteaters, and even sloths. Harpy eagles sit on tall trees and looks out for prey. Noticing a victim, they fly out to hunt. The harpy eagle instantly snatches a little monkey from the plexus of branches with its claws. The legs of this eagle has the thickness of a wrist of an adult male. This is truly the most powerful bird of prey on earth. The victim of the harpy eagle does not even have time to resist. The eagle's claws tighten, leaving it no chance. The length of the claws of the harpy eagle is equal to the length of the middle finger of a person. When this predator attacks, it almost always ends in an instant victory. Like horses that can sleep while standing, eagles have a special mechanism in their legs that allow them to lock in one position so they can sleep while standing on a branch. After about 40 years of life, the beaks and the claws of these large species of eagles grow to such an extent that the bird practically loses their ability to hunt and eat. There are two options for further developments. The eagle either dies or deliberately breaks its beak against stones, tears out its claws and old feathers, and after five months of hellish pain, it is reborn like a phoenix, living on for many more years. Such a strength of character can only be envied. And that is all for today. Write in the comments what you think about these amazing birds, and don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.